I'll be looking for urchins on a drift dive in a strong current that will enable me to search as many of their hideouts as possible. It's one of the fastest ways you can move underwater, and Ronan Sweeney is the man making sure I don't drown. I'm shitting myself, yeah? No, you We're don't. We're diving need in to. this, right? Absolutely. I've never done a drift dive. It sounds dangerous. Explain to me what it is, please. We're going to allow the, the volume of water as the tide is falling to suck us out. We're going to have a bit of a rummage, see can we locate the urchins yeah. and see can we collect some. Down there is America. I don't want to go back there for now, trust yeah. me. Yeah, yeah no, I... <laughs> so keep hold of no me. No problem. Yeah? I'll do my best. I'll look after you. Our best chance to find the urchins is to wait until first light when visibility will be at its peak. That's also when the rapid tide will be at its most powerful. It's 7.30 in the morning, and that now is the outward going tide. It looks very turbulent, very fast. I'm going to be dropped into the middle of that. The sea urchins are at the bottom. I just wish it didn't look so fucking cold in there. The current is so strong here, I'll be catapulted along the two miles of coast in just 15 minutes. Even the seals are struggling to keep up. It's amazing how the boat's struggling to get through like that. Isn't Absolutely, it? yeah. Quite nerve-wracking. You're going to have a fantastic dive. No, no I can't wait. You're um, going to be on the edge with this one. In three hours, the fast-moving tide will change direction and charge back inland. We could end up in the depths of the Atlantic. The time to search this spot for sea urchins is now. In parts, we were moving so fast, it was almost impossible to see anything on the seabed. The momentum's amazing. You're just pushed along at such a speed that it's almost impossible to hold on to the bottom. Almost yeah. like you've got a speedboat on your ass. The drift dive enabled me to search a long stretch of the coastline. But surprisingly, we found nothing, and the strong tide was starting to run out of steam. If I was going to find this delicious delicacy at all, my only option was to look elsewhere. My final chance. The limestone at Mucknish Point makes this prime urchin territory. Or so I hoped. We should have a fabulous dive. OK, brilliant. OK. Hopefully, slightly fucking slower. <laughs> I never thought for one second sea urchins would be so hard to find here. We searched for hours, and I was starting to run low on air. And with just minutes left, we found them. I was soon bagging as many as I could get my hands on. My God, a long last. That was a long fucking journey for sea urchins. I'm absolutely frozen. <laughs> well done. <laughs> West coast of Ireland, stunning sea urchin. Jesus Christ, if it was that fucking difficult, I would have gone to Billingsgate. <laughs>